It is a full house here tonight, even though one or two are late occupying their seats. Can it be a night to inspire the Irish to a memorable win? Here's Mats Hummels, who himself had an awkward weekend with Borussia Dortmund's hammering by Bayern Munich and one or two comments that he made after that. And Royce here, already looking to get Germany on the front foot and looking for Muller from the ball in. He just didn't pick up the flight of the cross there, did he? Thomas Muller. Good build-up play. You can see that Christie's been caught out of position. So there is a, a suspicion that he's offside. The flag didn't go up. Ball came across the goal with it. And it was actually Stephen Ward who came across from that full-back position to see the danger off. Away by Gundogan. Moved on by Tony Kroos. Here's Muller. Goethe out to his left. Royce had come narrower. Goethe are looking to pick out Matthias Ginter. And all the way across to Marco Royce. They've got a deflection of Christie. German corner. How quickly they went from defence to attack, though. We move along. You've got Goethe on the wide areas, Royce breaking forward. And then the fullbacks, we said, have joined really well. Hector over on the right and Ginter here. Oh, sorry, on the left. H Hector and Ginter here on the right. Delivered the ball in as if Royce controlled it. Christie just did enough to come out and get a block in to put it behind, but at the moment they're just dictating play in the midfield, the Germans. Kroos with a corner free header for Barton and he couldn't keep it down. Well, who's picking him up? We can see the Ireland players very unhappy. Richard Keogh in particular just having a word with the referee. Felt that there was a, an infringement. I think he was, the, you can see there, I think it was Hendrick who was just caught there, pushing and shoving going on. It left Boateng free. And he should have really hit the target. I can see how furious Shea Gibbon was. Not the greatest of headers from Boateng. That's certainly a chance. It was Matthias Ginter who was uh, pulling back. Boateng managed to pick out Marco Royce, who seemed to have overrun that, but still found Hector. This is Goetze making inroads, and Gundogan! Well, the goal was gaping there for him, but O'Shea somehow managed to get himself in the way. Oh, he done brilliantly, didn't he? Built wonderful play again down the, the left-hand side, and Gutzer comes in field. Christie can't tackle him for the fear of giving away a penalty. Gundogan comes in, and O'Shea just threw himself at it. And he's very fortunate to get the block in. There's the touch that took over the top of the crossbar. But at the moment, it looks ominous for Ireland. Certainly, Germany have dictated. Now, Ozil. Delivered early by Ginter. Royce, Muller. Ozil shaping up and blocked by McCarthy. Gundogan though, keeping it moving. Ginter across and vital from Keogh. He had to get there because Goethe was ready to pounce. And he just ready to stick into the internet there, wasn't he? Gunther there. Talking about Ginter again, the freedom he's got over on this right hand side because Ward's going in narrow. Look at the space he's in. There's the left full back in tight. It's an easy ball played out to him. He's delivered a decent ball in. Kutzer thinks he's going to score, and that's an incredible piece of defending him. That's his ball a bit heavy for Royce, but he was never about to give up on that. Muller firing, one in, and Ozil's there! And the flag goes up! The flag goes up, it went up very late, but it won't count! Then they got very late, you know, because the ball had gone in before the assistant flagged. There was no question about it. I mean, Ozil doesn't look too distraught there, does he? As the ball was delivered in, as we just see here. They kept it alive here, they done well here. Royce back to Muller. And we'll just see when this is delivered in yet. Yeah, certainly in an offside position, but the flag went up rather late. Pull back to Walters! And it's side netting. Well, I think it was actually Tony Crows who just got enough of a touch on it as the strike was about to come in here from John Walters. Lovely little reverse pass into the path of Walters. And as he took the shot on here, I think Crows just came across there to get a block in. Just there. Mm. Took it wide of the goal. Pulled across by Muller, and Ozil! Well, he was slightly stretching. I think it was on target, you know, she gave him, he's getting there. 
Anyway, he was rooted to the spot. Good spot there from Thomas Mueller. Said about the delivery from wide areas hadn't been particularly good, but there's the movement off the ball. He's certainly on side. He hasn't got a lot of options in there. Three German players. But you can see the strike coming in from Ozil. Just went past that near post, but the she given in the goal didn't even move. You can see there he was unsighted. Show just straddling that boundary at the moment as Brady lifts his kick in. It's towards Walters, but read by Neuer. He's immediately tried to unleash Marco Royce here with Randolph backpedaling. Royce has got Schurler in the middle. If he can pick him up, Schurler couldn't keep it down. Should be 1 0. But what about that? Two passes. Goalkeeper collects the free kick from Robbie Brady. Volleys it downfield. Royce is on to a flash. What about this for a spotter's badge? Great turn. Sees where Schurler is. Puts it in the perfect position. You've got to hit the target. You've got back. You've got to score from there. I mean, that's an easy chance on the volley. You've just got to make sure you get your body weight over the top of the ball. Keep your eye on it. Get a good purchase on it. And that should have been 1 0 to Germany. Well, he knows that was a big chance. holding out here against Germany Scotland leading Poland which would set up a, a winner takes all clash in Warsaw you have to assume that Scotland are going to beat Gibraltar so Ireland would need to win in Warsaw a victory in Poland would mean second a draw or defeat would most likely mean fourth unless they win here <laughs> I mean, at the moment, I mean, 63 minutes into the game, and now the crowd are getting behind the, this Irish side. They're starting to believe that maybe, just maybe, if they can hold Germany out and get one chance and take it, as they have done in so many games in this campaign, scored late goals to get points to win matches, they're still there for the taking. Well, a point is enough for Germany. That would see them through to the finals. But Ireland had the bit between their teeth. Houlihan, nothing! Didn't look too far away, probably further away than we thought, but that's the first real shot that Ireland have had in anger and what, what it's done to the crowd here in the Aviva Stadium. Just a long ball played outfield from Randolph, and this is where you're looking to win the first ball, pick up the seconds as they did, and eventually comes to Daryl Murphy, hits it with his left foot, but you can see it's well wide of the target. Marco Royce and he pulled it into a really dangerous area and Brady in the end swept it away what a ball that is that played into a beautiful area I mean anyone runs in it's a tap in for them. you can see Ireland have been caught out of position there's the ball from Royce across the face of the goal I think it just took a slight deflection on route off of Meza Uzo there's Christie with a header this is the danger for Ireland and the fatigue does there kick in but can they in the final quarter still summon the strength from somewhere here's Wes Houlihan who may look fresh faced and may give a youthful appearance but uh, he really has run himself ragged today and he's given that one away to Scherler and Thomas Muller's in here and he couldn't pull it back across it's Ward again there isn't it got his body in the way that's fantastic clearance for him that all came from Wes Houlihan just playing a back pass when he should have been looking to play the ball forward and it posed all sorts of problems for Ireland defensively Played across by Ozil and Royce comes in on it. Christie gets back, but the flag was up anyway. Yeah, he was, but Christie didn't know where he was there. He got ball watching, and his eyes were on the, the player on the far side. Ozil, when he comes in field there, he's not looked across his side to see where Royce was, and he certainly was as the ball was played in an offside position. Just came back and did enough to put him off. But here was the opportunity, and there's that back pass from Houlihan into the path of Schuller, onto Muller. As he just tried to play it back into the path of Schuller. It was Stephen Ward that came across to make that cover and challenge. Just from Walters into the path of Jeff Hendrick. And Walters went down very easily. This is Royce, danger from the break. He was aware, though, that uh, Schuller might have been offside, so delayed the pass to him. Walters coming back from an offside position, but Shane Long was definitely onside. Shane Long has done it! A good night for Ireland might just be turning into a great night for Ireland. We said about the pace, 
of Shane Long and how it would trouble the back line of Germany. And there's the proof of it. Just a long ball played downfield. Then there was a foot race to, between the back line of Germany and Shane Long. And he was too quick for him. And then he was so adept inside that 18 yard box. Got on his right foot and smashed the pass. Manuel Neuer. Nothing he could do about it. There's the long ball downfield. Now you're off and running. Can you get away from your defenders? Of course you can. And that. It's hit with such power in pace that the goalkeeper could do nothing about it. Great substitution from Martin O'Neill, but what a finish from Shane Long. Ireland literally playing the long game as the two substitutes combine to open up the German defence. The long clearance from Randolph, the run from Shane Long and the finish to match. And the world champions are trailing in Dublin. Tony Kroos. Hector with the delivery and Royce was close to it. And Muller! Oh! That is a huge miss! And now you really do wonder if it is Ireland's night. 12 yards out, middle of the goal, under no pressure whatsoever. The quality of this man, Thomas Muller, you're just waiting for this to hit the back of the net. You can see it just there. Initially, Royce missed it. Hendrick went to ground. And it just fell beautifully for Mueller. And you're thinking, this has got to nestle in the back of the net. And he, I think he's trying to be too precise to try and find the corner. It's just gone wide to the target. It's a huge miss for Germany. It's Barteng who strikes and Randolph gets his fist to it and pushes it away. Yeah, he done the right thing there, didn't he, Darren Randolph? I'm not sure he's seen it too late. But that's what I said, Germany haven't been doing hitting shots from distance. strike from uh, Gundogan held by Randolph he read it didn't he he read it really well there Darren Randolph he knew exactly where Gundogan was going to try and place this he got cross sharp and got down to his left hand side to make the save made it look rather easy oh well another scare for Ireland as that one was flung in but Hummels couldn't make anything of it he couldn't get any height on it I think if he went for a, as he headed he just lift, try to lift it over towards the far post he might have had a better chance of scoring his header was flat straight at Randolph and the Ireland keeper delighted just to clash the ball and once again just take his time as he tries to play the ball downfield here's Shane Long Jonathan Walters Hoping for the throne himself, Walters, but it's gone the other way. That should be it, Rob. We've got seven seconds, six seconds left in this game. Martin O'Neill's nearly on the pitch at the moment. An unforgettable night in Irish football history. Martin O'Neill and his team have done the impossible. They've beaten the world champions. And Shay Long, the substitute, is the hero. Bitterly disappointed at being overlooked for Daryl Murphy in the starting lineup. He came on and made his point with an assist from another substitute, the goalkeeper. He rifled it past Manuel Neuer, and Ireland have downed the world champions. Not only that, but within the group, they've taken four points off them, not been beaten by Joachim Love's team, and they've given themselves real, genuine hope now of getting to the Euro 2016 finals.